Hello everyone and welcome back to Bug Snacks. In the last session we went to the Boiling Bay and found someone new and completed that whole area. We've also got a couple of things we can plant in here that are required. Uh, Sherby and our Shakiri. We just need an Incharito now which we have yet to find. Having trouble with your pets there? Shut it, Wambus. My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line when they're half your size. What are you saying? You really love bug snacks so bad? Go big or go home. You! Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is this gonna be another boss fight? Please be... Please be a boss fight like the first one, which was good, and not a boss fight like the second one, which was terrible. I hate to say it, but Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love, and they might be a bit smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please? <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. It's not a boss fight. Uh, he wants a Scoopy Panoopy. Someone else wanted a Scoopy Panoopy, didn't they? Uh, oh, Triffany's got something. Snorpy wants a Scoopy Panoopy, and Gramble wants a Scoopy Panoopy. Hmm. I'm wondering if anyone's going to ask to get a Pale Toss. <laughs> The size of your heart has grown and so has your inventory. It can't get any bigger. But donating is still a nice thing to do. We've maxed out our inventory size. Good to know. I'm kind of feeling like I should keep that this one big thing. I don't know about the others. Just in case. Oh, hello. Floofy. Snoppington. So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpinati scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You waste your talented mind Brother. playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I. You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Lead me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. I didn't realize they were brothers. Interesting. Oh, of course. Now he's got stuff for me. Have, oh, wait. No, that's the interview. Duh. Have time for an interview? I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Uh, I want to hear from the smartest grump in town. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. God, I would hate him in real life. <laughs> Who are you? I am Floofty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. And what's that? In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. Why come here? To study bug snacks, obviously. But you didn't know what bug snacks were until you got here. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. Thoughts on them? You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Emotional parasite? Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. Why did you leave? I simply wanted to continue my work, Agabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. Is it true you eat grumpuses? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why is there a severed leg in your heart? Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? Any info, Lisbeth? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. What about Egabel? 
Agabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Who interfered? Shelda. That mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Agabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. Huh. So what happened? Ultimately, Agabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Any final thoughts? Yes. I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You the have password wasted enough is a key. of my time now. <laughs> Leave. Lucy gave you a mysterious key. Check your journal for details. Dismissively gave me the key. It seems to go in the mysterious box. Huh. Wait. I saw that I was given... The, when was I given this map? And it's right down... I swear I went to the end of Boiling Bay, didn't I? Hang on. Hang on. We gotta do... We gotta go back. That's annoying. I could have sworn I was right at the end of Boiling Bay. And I did not notice anything. But there must be something there. I wish I could just teleport to the areas rather than having to run slowly through the previous areas to get to the right one. There totally is something right over here that I didn't see. Well done, me. You picked up Liz's notes on a secret code. Check your journal for details. Looks torn. Oh, wait. We already got the top bit. <laughs> then right, then center. After that, push down hard on all three. That should get a response. Left, then right, then center, then all three. Interesting. And back we go. <laughs> oh, slowly, slowly, slowly. Come on. Okay, right. Now let's use the key and see what we can find in Elizabeth's house or Eg Egabel's house. Did you do it? Did you write your magnum opus? Or this. Sorry, dear. It's never going to happen. Well, don't be so down, Wiggle. Maybe you're overthinking it. Why don't you just write from the heart? From the heart? Oh, Gramble, you sweet summer child. That's what I did before I was a star. I'll never make platinum that way. Why does that matter? You're already rich and famous. Because I need an audience. And I've seen time and time again that when I write for myself, nobody else wants to hear it. Well, I want to hear it. That's a nice sentiment, darling. Hey. Can I try... <laughs> uh, doing the Mega Kami on your... Oh, where's... It's not giving me the option anymore. It gave me the option to do her other horn before. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. But we'll stick with that.
that's actually kind of her vibe. Let's let's give her that. Let's let's do that. Right. Uh, prank Cantus and a Scoopy Banoopy. It's telling me to go here, but I don't have either a praying Procantus or a Scoopy Canoopy. Uh, right. Eggabelle. Eggabelle's diary. Wasn't in there, was it? Where was it? We already read what was there. Was it upstairs? Huh. So we got a key to something, but not actually anything to unlock with it. Seems to go with a mysterious box. Yeah, we haven't found any mysterious box, have we, I don't think? Hmm. What? What are you up to? Ah, you're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. <laughs> uh, come again? Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off. Head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that Bug Snacks will regrow it in its entirety. Uh, <laughs> you're out of control. Indeed. Perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. I can find more volunteers, can I? Oh, ready well. You're welcome to try. <laughs> Ask Grumps to help him. Eight. <laughs> How, who the fuck's going to want to cut off their head? Will you help with Floofty's experiment? Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofty said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. Nice. Why? Is Floofty looking for someone to snack on? LOL, JK, but seriously, no. Fair enough. Beverly, no. <laughs> That's it. All right. The tree stumps back. Doesn't my dude move that? Well, absolutely not. Whatever scheme my sibling put you up to, it certainly won't end well. I. <laughs> what are you doing in the wall, mate? After what they put Eggabel through? No way, bro. Bro. Do we even have eight people to ask? From the. Want something? What are you kidding me, pal? I like my organs where they are. Thank you very much. Uh Oh yeah. You and Triffany. So oh, we do yeah. have enough. Darling, they once called me a vociferous profligate. I'm terribly insulted, though I have no idea what that even means. Triffany, where are you? Uh Which one's Triffany's house? Is, yeah, it's this house. Is she home? No. Where the fuck is Triffany then? Ah. Will you help with Floofty's experiment? Oh! Well, Floofty's fun to gap with, but their methods are pretty extreme, don't you think? Wait, you've actually got your own? Side mission? Man, there are so many more side missions than I was expecting. Sure, let's go exploring. Yep. According to the journal, this time we're heading for the Boiling Bay. Let's go. Alrighty, see you there. I do want to do them because I, I really like the dialogue and the learning more about the characters and everything. I just hope this one isn't as annoying as her previous one trying to find the fucking invisible statue was. Lovely place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. 
scan a treasure chest. Feel her. Ah, oh, ba 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 ba. We've got it. We've got it. Okay. We can't stop it yet. But oh, I'm so glad that I kept a pale toss around. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, no. I found the treasure. Hmm. That settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. He disappeared at sea a hundred years ago. But I guess he wound up on Snack Tooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It really is the saddest thing, isn't it? When nobody knows how your story ends. Mm, too bad, so sad. Let's eat. Uh, that's a grande. She just wants a regular A. <laughs> Nom. Right on the nose. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. You know, Floofty's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. It could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? Anything else? I can't find anything. She's not here either. Who's not here? I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it, um, it belonged to my... <laughs> See, some years ago, my grandma, Veronica Ladeblog, decided she was gonna explore Snack Tooth Island and discover its history. But we never heard from her again. That's really why I'm out here. To find out what became of her. <sighs> Anywho, that's all for now. Let's head back to town. Alrighty. Huh. That's another way to get that down. Oh, my kingdom for a teleport. My kingdom for a teleport. At least that side quest was very easy, considering we'd already scanned the chest and we already had the thingy. I'm so glad I kept that around, man. I almost got rid of it. I was like, ah, oh, the chances of the chances of someone specifically asking for that is pretty slim. But I lucked out. Feels good. How's right. it going? Does she have a second one? No. Back to this guy then. Everyone said. Wait, did you steal that? Wait, where was it? It was in here, right? He has a journey. Oh my god, he actually did steal it. That's hilarious. Hello. No volunteers. As expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Uh, does that bother you? Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Uh, that seems out of character. Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs> Fully transform Floofty. Okay. Well, shit. That's gonna take a lot. Uh, well, I guess let's go to the next area and hopefully when we come back we will have enough to do that. How are you? Sounds like a plan. Uh... That is the only other side quest, right? There's no... S yeah, okay. Right, so Mountain Climb, Frosted Peak, uh, Sizzling Sands. I assume that's going to be this way, which actually... I'm guessing the bridge is going to be repaired. I don't actually know how to get to Frosted Peak. I assume it's up in the mountain way, but I don't remember there being like a an extra path. But I guess I will spot one. I have to get there eventually. 
Is the bridge fixed? Yes, the bridge is fixed. Oh, hey there. Hey, bro. Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? All right, bro. Sizzling sands. Kidoki. Eggler shell. The snack is protected by hard shell. It'll take force crack it open. I don't think that was what I... I was trying to scan that. Moths are supreme. Looks like it could use a good slicing. Was that the thing that flew into our... Our thing? Knocked us down? Breakfasty bits. Loaded spuddy. Cheeser. Too far away. Praying Picantis. We need one of these. Large, aggressive, and destructive. Best to be avoided. Well, it's on fire, so we'd need to pull it down somehow. Buffer locust. We need one of those as well. Again, on fire would need to cool it. Hi. Mm, this one has many questions. So it is my wisdom shall be shared. Are you Shelda? Am I? One who is called Shelda exists beyond the cell. <laughs> what is your deal? Ah, the questions must cease. Wisdom can be gained only through experience. One who is you, tainting others with the toxin that is bug snacks, has strayed from the mother's path. So it is. You must atone. Nah, good. Uh, will you come to Snacksburg? In seeking inner peace, Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. Yep. Seek the yellow sauce within the great maw of stone. On this, I shall be sustained. On mustard? You're going to sustain yourself on mustard? Oh, cheese sauce, never mind. <laughs> Okay, perhaps it needs to be cut open. How would we do that? Huh. Pizza. Pizza. Correlation. I mean, it does fly overhead, right? Can't aim up that high. So how would I... Does it have any likes? Doesn't have any likes. Uh... Not gonna lie, I am not sure. I'm also not sure how to get the. F the there doesn't seem to be ice things around here, so I'd have to get stuff like him to the water, but how would I do that? He loves chili. Ooh. 
do 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 do. Spidey. But like we're not gonna be able to get him to go in the water with chili, are we? Or hot sauce, whatever. The hot, we can't fire the hot sauce into the water. It's just gonna. Okay, this it doesn't. This is silly. <laughs> it's not gonna. It's not gonna go to the water. It seems it just backflips away from the first hot sauce it gets. this what the fuck is that oh that's what I did oh I'm so dumb I thought it was saying I thought it I thought it was giving a hint to say hey use that here it's totally not it's just showing me that that's where I left them you idiot For reals, though, I have absolutely no idea what to do here. Anything around the back here? Just paths up. Obviously can't grab him. It has the pizza symbol, so I have to. It has to be something to do with Pizza Boy. But what? I don't. It doesn't seem like this is going to be a thing. It's too high up. Google this because I truly don't see it and I don't want to just waste everyone's time aimlessly running around. I have absolutely no idea how to progress it. Well, let's finish out this episode without Googling it. Something like there's this, obviously. This looks like it could be something. Okay, I feel like get out of that. But I don't know, like, you can't break it by landing on it hard. You got any other tips? Seek the yellow sauce within, within the, the great moor of stone. I mean, that has to be that, right? The moor of stone. There is no other opening in stone that I've seen, unless it's like around here or something. No. Oh. The fuck was that? Oh, hi. So it has to be that you have to get in there, and it has the pizza symbol on it, which would mean you would think you'd have to take down the big pizza fucking thing. But I see no way of doing so. Unless I can just, like, grapple it. No. You can't. And it doesn't have any likes and dislikes. So you can't force it down to earth that way. So, I'm a bit stumped.
Can I like run through the water and then no. Is there anything I can bring water with me with? Like can, can I capture water in this? And then throw it down. Nope. <laughs> How do what is now it says it's gonna blow up. Oh shit! What? That's how chi moves are born. Say what? <sighs> yeah, I mean don't I don't see a way so I think I'm gonna end the episode here and then Google it and then next time we'll just know what to do when we begin I guess because I don't want to just waste everyone's time having me run around for hours potentially and like four or five parts just trying to figure out a puzzle is probably fairly simple and I'm just not seeing it so yeah, that's all we'll do. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Bug Snacks. Thanks for watching. See you then.